Hey guys, check out this 300 series GR Sport. We've just completed an RV Solutions draw setup along with 220 amp hours of lithium, big inverter, water pump, water tank, uh, and ARB air compressor. Come check it out. So, first thing we put in, these RV Solutions drawers. Now these are the premium alloy ones, so they're nice and light, super strong. These have the premium black upgrade kit as well, so it matches in nicer with the GR Sports black interior. This drawer here has also got the little optional table as well, so you can still access all your bits inside the drawer, but the table folds down, acts as a nice bench space for kitchen, put your induction cooker on, um, everything like that. We've also got the MSA fridge drop slide here, which we've supplied and fitted, along with the ARB 060 litre fridge, the single zone one. So they work quite nicely and easily. Tab down, they pull out till it clicks and simply folds down like that. You know, the drawer system, the lids are reversible on these as well, so you can swap them around depending on which side you have your fridge slide on. Obviously for the purpose of this one, we've got it on this side. Hidden in behind this left-hand side drawer panel, we've got the ARB twin cylinder compressor, and that is run to the chuck at the back here. Really nice and easy to get to. So now onto the electrical side of what we've done in this system. Obviously you can see there's a really nice drawer system. It's all set out quite nicely. What you can't see is actually the best part. So underneath the false floor in here, there's actually two 110 amp hour Kangoe lithium batteries. So 220 amp hours of lithium in total, completely hidden out of the road, uh, taking up space, which is otherwise not used anyway. Uh, we've also got um, mounted in the side and on the back, all the electrical components. So we've got a Red Arc Manager 30 for the DC to DC charging, the 240 volt AC charging, and for the solar input as well. We've also got Red Arc TVMS system here. So that's switching everything inside of here. So switching the fridge, the socket bank, which I'll show you in a second. It's also switching awning lights, switching some um, ARB base rack lights we've put on as well. And so that gives the customer total control um, via their phone or via the screen we've mounted in the back here. And also connects to the Manager 30. So that'll tell them exactly how long they've got left before their batteries are flat. Um, and how quick they're charging. So on the basic home screen, you get a really good visual representation of how full, how empty the batteries are, what charge source it's being charged from, and a rough guide of how long it has left until the batteries are flat. Um, if you go across the screen, it gives you more detailed information on obviously what the Manager 30 is putting in. So you can see at the moment there's nothing, cars turned off, there's no solar connected. Um, over here you can see the loads, so this it will monitor anything, so be it fridge, anything running off Anderson plugs, etc, etc. Um, shows you how much load is being pulled off of your system, and this bottom one shows you obviously um, what is coming out of the battery. So those two should always be the same if everything's run off the second battery. If we go back across, along these side sections here are all your switching. So for everything like this one, we've got left and right base rack lights, we have awning lights, we have a little rock light on the back door of this 300, uh, USB, SIG sockets, scroll up a screen, we have the fridge, the water pump, air compressor, and a couple more 12 volt USB sockets. And they can all be switched via your phone as well, it doesn't have to be through this screen. So over here we have our Accelerate custom cup holder bank, so it has room for two sockets of your choice and two Anderson plugs. The way we've set this one up is so we have a USB-A and USB-C socket in this one, standard 12 volt SIG in this one, and then obviously grey Anderson for power out, and then red Anderson for a portable solar blanket. GPO, so at the back here we off the inverter, we have got a 240 volt twin GPO, uh, which is obviously run straight off the Enerdrive 2000 watt inverter. So in a really good position there to plug in your induction cooktops, um, coffee machines, blenders, all that sort of gear. In a really nice handy location. Tucked in this side of the drawer system, there's actually enough room for a water bladder. So we've managed to squeeze a 35 litre um, flexible water bladder in there. She's got a nice little pump switched via the TVMS uh, just to rinse things off. Uh, if you need a 
fill a cup up, anything like that. Just sort of leaves your trigger. Easy as that. So behind here is the brains of the whole operations. Obviously when the seats, the mid-row seats are folded down and folded back, you're not going to see any of it. Um, but it's in a really easy accessible spot to get to if you need to. So over here is the brains of the Red Arc TVMS, the Red Vision. All your fuses, nice and easy to get to. Uh, and this is what connects to your phone, connects to the screen and does all the switching. Um, under here is the Manager 30. So this is what I was saying before, charges while the car is driving, charges off a of solar and also has a 240 volt cord you plug in so you can charge via mains when you're at a caravan park or you're at home, etc. Over here we have the Enerdrive 2000 watt AC transfer inverter. Reason why we go these inverters in any scenario where we're running an external GPO is generally because they have a built-in RCD safety switch. So that means you don't have to muck around adding a separate safety switch or trying to make it comply um, with electrical standards. It's all easier to do um, and much easier for our 240 volt electrician to run power to the GPO and to terminate it and to sign off on it. Um, and the drivers have a fantastic warranty um, and they're ultra reliable and make for a really good inverter for this system. On the two main arms of this Bush Company 180 degree awning, we've run power through from the second battery system in the vehicle, through here, up along the arms. It's for little quick disconnects here for these hardcore bar lights that just clip straight on. Simply connect up to there. And then over here, we have our little controller, which you can change color to amber uh, for if you're camping with insects, etc., etc., to keep them away. Uh, we've also got the ARB little base rack work lights which is clamped straight onto the base rack and they're all wide in off the second battery as well. We've also installed a night armor little rock light in this back panel of the door. Only a little light, not too bright, but still bright enough at night time. You have a really nice working area here. Shines perfectly down on the little table for your drawer system and straight in the fridge too when it's down. So it makes everything really nice and easier to see uh, if you're cooking at night time. We've also done a standard towing setup on this 300 as well. So we've got the Red Arc Tow Pro Elite V3 and a little switch blank at the front. And also an ignition isolated Anderson plug at the back for towing. We've also, uh, as per customer request, cut out this section here of his tow bar cover. Um, so he can have the tow tongue in full time and still have this area nicely covered. And none of those big ugly holes that are left when the tow cover is taken off. Thanks for watching guys. If you have any comments, leave them in the comments section down below. Chuck us a like, a subscribe. Also check out our 300 series playlist up here and YouTube thinks you should watch this.